good day. This is Miss LM and we're back again with another math video and today we're going to talk about right triangle congruence theorems. So in this video, we're going to define and illustrate right triangles, name the parts of right triangle and determine the congruence theorems of right triangles. So let's begin. Let's start with the definition and illustration of right triangles. So I know you are all familiar with this type of triangle because we have already discussed this during our lesson or video about the introduction to triangles. So right triangles are triangles having one right angle. So kung meron daw tayong triangle having one right angle, automatically we call this as right triangle. So we have here triangle ABC and angle C is our right angle. So this triangle is considered to be a right triangle. Here we have the different special types of right triangle wherein we have here two sides that are congruent. We have here a side that is twice the measurement of the other side and also we have here a side wherein it is three times as long as the other side. So again, these five right triangles here are considered to be the special types of right triangle. Now, we're done with the definition and illustration of right triangle. Let's now proceed to the parts of a right triangle. So, ano-ano nga ba ang parts ng right triangle? We all know that triangles have sides and angles. But, in right triangle, meron tayong konting difference sa tawag sa mga sides and angles na yun. Okay, first part of the right triangle is the hypotenuse. So, what is a hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is the side opposite to the right angle. So, kapag nahanap natin yung right angle, yung side po na katapat niya or opposite niya ay tinatawag nating hypotenuse. So, in this triangle, triangle ABC, angle C is our right angle at ang opposite niya or yung katapat niya is yung may C na small letter. So, that's side C or side AB or BA. Ang tawag natin sa kanya again ay hypotenuse. Okay. Now, ano naman ang itatawag natin dun sa side na hindi opposite ng ating right angle? Ang tawag natin dun ay legs. So, we have side A and side B. Sila yung legs of the triangle ABC. Or side A can be also named as side BC or CB. Side B can be also named as side AC or CA. Ang tawag natin dyan ay legs. So, yung sides ng isang right triangle ay tinatawag nating hypotenuse kapag siya ay opposite ng ating right angle at tinatawag naman nating legs kapag siya yung mismong bumubuo dun sa ating right angle. Now, punta naman tayo sa angles. Siyempre, hindi mawawala ang right angle. Hindi natin matatawag na right triangle kung wala tayong right angle. Tama po ba? Okay, so here our right angle is angle C or angle ACB or BCA. And this right angle can be easily found kapag meron na tayong marking. At ano ang itsura ng marking ng isang right angle? Tinatawag or dapat makakita tayo ng square corner or yung square dun sa mismong corner. Kapag meron tayong ganyan, ibig sabihin meron tayong right angle at ang measurement ng isang right angle ay palaging 90 degrees. Okay? So kung ito ay 90 degrees, ang natitira na lang sa dalawa pang angle ay 90 degrees. So, paghahatian nila or depende kung anong measurement nung natitirang dalawa pang angles. Basta po, si right angle, lagi po yung 90 degrees. Now, anong itatawag natin dun sa dalawa pang natitirang angles? So, we name that as acute angles. So, bakit kaya tinawag na acute angles? Kasi nga po, mas maliit na siya kaysa sa 90 degrees. Imagine, 90 degrees na yung angles natin. Tapos, yung matitira lang sa 180 ay 90 na lang din. Dalawa pa yung angles na wala natin. And acute angles are known to be the angles having the measurement that is less than 90 degrees. So, itong angle A natin or CAB or BAC ay acute angle na also yung angle B or tinatawag na rin CBA or ABC, acute angles na rin po yan. So, yun yung bumubuo or yun yung tawag natin ngayon sa parts ng isang right triangle. Again, meron tayong hypotenuse and then legs. Then for the angles, we have the right angles and the acute angles. So, let's try to name the parts of this triangle, triangle BTS. Alin dito ang legs? Okay, so kailangan nating mahanap yung sides kung saan ito yung bumubuo ng ating right angle. 
those are side BT and side TS or side TB and side TS. How about the hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is the opposite side of our right angle. So, ito yung square corner, alin yung opposite niya, that is side BS or SB. Okay, now for the acute angles, syempre yung angle or yung right angle naman natin, easily determined na yan. We have angle T. Alin po ngayon yung acute angles natin? So, we have angle B and angle S. We have to remember these parts of the right triangles because these parts are also involved in the theorems of congruence under the right triangle. Same as dun sa pinag natin before sa ating previous videos, inalam muna nating maigi kung alin nga ba ang mga included angles at included sides because kinailangan natin siya dun sa ating triangle congruence postulates. Dito naman sa right triangle, syempre, kailangan alam din natin yung parts or yung tawag sa parts ng right triangles para mas madali nating matandaan yung iba't ibang right triangle congruence theorems. So now, let's proceed to our third and final objective, determine the congruence theorems of right triangles. Here, we are going to challenge ourselves. So let's have this figure first and let's determine what are the given parts of these two right triangles. So, we have here this side, side BT, congruent to side EX, and side ST, congruent to side OX. How do we name these two parts? They are known to be the legs. Okay, so if we have these congruence theorems under the right triangle, if the blank of one right triangle are congruent to the corresponding blank of another right triangle, then the triangles are blank. Again, we are dealing with the right triangle congruence theorem. Again, the parts are the legs. So, if the legs of one right triangle are congruent to the corresponding legs of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. And ang pwede natin itawag sa theorem na ito ay ang LL congruence theorem. And this is exclusive only for right triangles. Okay? Now, let's proceed to another right triangle congruence theorem. What are these two parts of the two right triangles? Again, we have side BT and side EX congruent sila according to the markings. And we have side BS congruent to side EO. BT and EX are the legs and BS and EO are the hypotenuse. So, if we are going to complete this statement, ang ilalagay natin dito is that if the hypotenuse and a leg of one right triangle are congruent to the hypotenuse and a leg of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. At ang itatawag naman natin sa congruence theorem na ito ay HYL. In other books, this is known to be as HL lang. Wala yung Y. So, it's either HYL or HL. But for this video or for this lesson, we're going to use HYL. HY stands for hypotenuse and L stands for leg. Again, kailan siya magiging HYL congruence theorem kapag yung given na parts na ating two right triangles ay hypotenuse at ang legs. Okay? Next. Another congruence theorem. So, identify first the parts of these two right triangles na may marks or corresponding congruent. So, we have angle B and angle E. They are congruent and they are known to be the acute angles. And also, we have this side that is known to be the hypotenuse. So, if we're going to complete this statement, if the hypotenuse and an acute angle of one right triangle are congruent to the corresponding hypotenuse and an acute angle of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Kung kanina, HYL for hypotenuse and leg, for the acute angle, we're going to use HYA, congruence theorem. So, once na meron tayong dalawang right triangle at ang pinapakita po na congruent parts ay acute angles at hypotenuse, we are going to consider these two right triangles as congruent because we have this theorem na tinatawag nating HYA congruence theorem. And then for the last congruence theorem under the right triangle, identify the parts first. So we have angle B and angle E. Again, they are the acute angles. And then we have these two sides. Sides BT and EX are congruent and they are known to be the legs. If the leg 
and an acute angle of one right triangle are congruent to the corresponding leg and an acute angle of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So, for this congruence theorem, tatawagin naman natin siyang LA, leg and acute angle congruence theorem. So, those are the four congruence theorem under the right triangle. Again, we have the LL or leg-leg. Kapag yung markings ng ating dalawang right triangle ay nasa dalawang legs ng ating right triangle, that means we can apply the LL congruence theorem. Kapag naman HYL, meron tayong hypotenuse and leg. Kapag naman HYA, meron tayong hypotenuse and acute angle. Then, the last one is the LA or the leg and acute angle. Now, let's have an activity. So, let's do this. How many chromosomes does a normal human being have? We have this decoder and how are we going to answer this question? To answer this question, follow the instruction. Ano yung instruction? Two congruent triangles are indicated in each exercise. Blacken the circle of the theorem that proves that the two triangles are congruent. Write the letter of the correct choice in each box. We're going to have eight questions and each question denotes a right triangle congruence theorem na pipiliin natin by blackening the circle of the theorem that proves that the two triangles are congruent. So, are you ready now? Let's begin. Number one, we have these two triangles, triangle BTS and triangle EXO. By looking at the given figure and the markings, so what are the parts na nagpapakita na congruent sila or what are the two corresponding congruent parts of these two triangles? So, we have this side, side BT congruent to side EX and side TS congruent to side XO. So, what are these two parts of this triangles. Ang tawag natin dito ay legs. Kaya, dito po sa ating pagpipilian, alin congruence theorem ang gagamitin natin. So, we have the LL congruence theorem. So, yung S yung ating my shade. So, in this decoder or in this table, on number 1, do natin nalagay yung ating sagot which is S. Okay? Next, number 2. We have these two triangles, triangle PUR and triangle ELR. Again, they are right triangles and we have this square corner. So, anong part po ito ng ating right triangle? Again, ayan, opposite siya ng square corner natin and we have these two other parts na congruent. So, we have this acute angle, alin siya dito, alin congruence theorem ang pwede natin gamitin for these two triangles. We have the HYA. So, hypotenuse po yan kasi opposite siya ng ating right angle. So, for number 2, ang ilalagay natin ay R. Number 3, we have these two triangles. What congruence theorem are we going to use to prove that these two triangles are congruent? So, upon looking at the two right triangles here, so this is our square corner or this is our right angles. And then, opposite niya yung may mark. So, that's the hypothesis. Ay, that's the hypotenuse. And then, again, kapag meron tayong overlapping na side, automatically, they are congruent with each other because pwede natin i-apply ang reflexive property. So, ano pong congruence theorem ang gamit natin dito? So, we have the HYL. Ayan. Number 3 is I yung ating ilalagay. Number 4. So, we have these two right triangles. So, ito yung ating first and then this one is our second. What congruence theorem are we going to use to prove that these two triangles are congruent? So, ano bang part ito ng ating right triangle? Again, this is our first right triangle and this one is our second right triangle. So, siya ay leg and dahil meron tayong ganitong part, kumbaga dyan nag-overlap yung ating right triangles. These two triangles are congruent by LL congruence theorem. So, yan po ay Y. For number 4, Y ang isasagot natin. So, malapit ng mabuo ang bilang ng chromosomes for normal human being. Okay, number 5. We have these two right triangles. This part ay congruent. This is the leg. And then, alin pa ang consider natin na congruent? By vertical angles definition, these two acute angles are congruent. So, leg and acute angle. That is X. For number 5, the answer is X. Ayan, 6 daw yung ating second word. How about the first word? Malapit na natin mabuo. Number 6 na po tayo. So, we have these two right 
triangles here and then we have the overlapping side which is the side opposite to the right angle. So, ano ulit ang tawag natin dun sa side opposite to the right angle? That's the hypotenuse. And then, these angles are congruent and we name this as acute angles. So, ito pong number 6 natin ay congruent triangles by HYA congruence theorem. So, for number 6, we're going to put O. Number 7, so we have these two right triangles and ang may markings naman natin ngayon ay ang side na ito. So what do we call this side? They are the legs and then again, the overlapping side is the opposite side to the right angle and this is known to be the hypotenuse. So hypotenuse and a leg that is HYL. T ang isasagot natin or ilalagay natin for number 7. Then for the last item, number 8, we have these two right triangles. So tingnan po ulit nating maigi. Balik tayo. So this part, we have this square corner and ito yung may mark. Anong part yan ng ating right triangle? Also this one, yung color blue, anong part yan ng ating right triangle? And since overlapping yan, at iisa po yung part na to, iisa yung measurement niya, anong tawag natin dyan? So, we have, again, ang tawag natin for this part and this part are the legs. And then, for this part na overlapping at isang measurement, yun ay ang acute angles. So, for number 8, the answer is LA or leg angle congruence theorem. So, that's for number 8, we have F. The answer to the question, how many chromosomes does a normal human being have? There are 46 chromosomes. So, yun po yung sagot natin for this question. And I hope malinaw na sa inyo kung ano-ano ang iba't ibang right triangle congruence theorem. So, again, we have to be familiar with the parts of the right triangle so that we are going to be able to name the congruence theorem na pwede natin apply dun sa corresponding congruent parts of the right triangle. So, that's all for this video. I hope na natutunan nyo ang iba't ibang right triangle congruence theorems. So, they are HYA or the hypotenuse and acute angle, LA, leg and acute angle, LL, leg, leg, and then we have the HYL or the hypotenuse leg congruence theorems. So that's all for this video. I hope may natutunan kayo. Huwag niyo kalimutang mag-like, mag-share, at mag-subscribe dito sa ating channel para updated kayo sa mga susunod pang videos. That's all. Bye-bye. Keep safe everyone. God bless.